All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is John and the reason why we're playing this again today is because the Orsinium DLC is coming out on November 2. So from when you're watching this, probably about two days from now. And I kind of wanted to get myself familiar with the game again. I haven't played it in like uh, three months. I honestly thought the Imperial City DLC or expansion was not what I was looking for. And now with the Orsinium expansion, like, they realize that not everyone is fully into PvP. And I can't say it's bad. I played it as not too bad, but I just rather have story missions and have a new story. So we'll be covering that on November 2, and I just wanted to familiarize myself with the game a little bit again. Um, I haven't bothered to check my add-ons. Ashman. To see if things are still going on, like uh, update it. I kind of do that a little bit later. But with that said, um, I'm not sure how the Orsinium expansion is going to be level based or like how how it's going to scale. But hopefully, it for the better. I know it seems strange that I'm in this dark place, but the pain of losing him once was unbearable. I can't lose him again. My dear, sweet Aeanon. I'm just an Ashlander merchant. He was a noble in his house, but he didn't care. We had a secret love, but he was ready to risk his status for me. We were to be married. He died. It was so sudden. I wasn't even allowed to attend his funeral, but I know we will reunite in death. I can't find his tomb. I just want to talk to him one more time. Will you help me find him? Azura, bless you. I spoke with a wise woman. She told me to gather graven caps near the tombs. I'd collect some, but the wardens would stop me. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Aeanon. Alright, so if you are new to the channel and haven't uh, heard of ESO, it's an MMO game. And I have over 700 parts of it. It's a pretty big thing on my channel, but I just kind of stopped for a while. And um, we're actually... Pretty excited to be back with this, so let me familiarize myself with the game. Okay, so we we do not want bar one. So the only add-on I think that's like out of date right now is my mini map. And so I'm gonna have to be hitting M a lot. Alright, so let's see. What are we actually looking for? I don't... Okay, so... Assuming none of the skills actually changed... Hold on, let me see. Are the add-ons... What do I have? Oh. I'm actually missing some stuff. That's kind of bad. So I assume I... If I remember correctly, I only have my one because I gave a buff to my main attack, which is two. Um, let's use pulls. What is that? So we're gonna have to go over here and collect the caps. Those are. the chat log after. Okay. So bear with me as I get used to the game again. Um. Continuing on. But yes, if you are new and you have like no idea what's going on right now, we're currently playing in the Daggerfall. And we're in our third faction. I am veteran 15. I kind of just power leveled this character through it. So now we're doing the story all over. Um, I have completed the entire story, all three factions. If you are actually interested in checking it out, uh, I did it on a Templar character. So it's all there to watch. Everything should be uploaded. Rumblings from the mountain have us all on edge. Balrith is up there somewhere. I hope you excellent. My friend, you are an asset and blessing on the pact. I sense the hand of the three here. Now we'll get things done. By Vivek, Balrith will be bound again. 
The Atronox? Well, <coughs> that's bad. I banished them when I cast Father's spell. We were sure we could control the creature. Damn it. I suppose we'll have to summon them again, somehow. They stood watch over Ash Mountain for centuries. All we need to do is grab their attention again. Kill Daedra, take their hearts, then burn them at the ruined altars. That should draw them out. Walks and Ash is waiting for you at the top. Good luck. We'll hold the line here. Ensure that the Ashlands are safe. All of Stonefalls is relying on you, my friend. Alrighty, so... What do we want to do first? Uh, I guess we'll do collected caps. After switching MMOs like World of Warcraft to this one again, it's like I have to get used to everything. It's actually difficult. All the buttons I have to remember. Just leave that thing alone. One out of five. Oh, did you aggro? Really? Sweet. My inventory. Oh, my inventory is full, actually. That's kind of bad. That's actually kind of bad. I don't know what to get rid of. Do I have any potions? To, which one? I have a lot of potions to use. All right. I miss the add-ons I have. The one with the mini-map. Two more somewhere. Um, I'll just go down the main area. By the way, if you are playing ESO and still watch my videos, if you are looking for any build videos uh, before the Imperial City, I think I have a lot of build videos for every single character. You can watch those. Um, they should still be effective. I don't think anything actually changed throughout the game. Um, when Orsinium comes out, I might make some new videos just to see what's actually added. But I don't think anything is actually changing since it's story-based. Alright, so I think, if I remember correctly, in this quest, we have to make some difficult decisions. You shall see shortly. It's good to see you again. I do not like being here alone. You're a little like Aeanon. He was always gentle and kind with me. Now to find him. I'll search the tombs to the southeast. Would you search to the west? Um, before we do anything, one thing I would recommend for a beginner is... Always get the Fighter's Guild, Intimidating, Intimidation Presence, and the Persuasive Will. Now, what that does is, if you are only interested in the story, um, it helps you like bring out additional dialogue and it could occasionally help save you time. So that's why I would recommend that to pretty much everyone, honestly. Especially people who are only interested in the story. And right here, it doesn't really matter. You just pick one, realistically. <laughs> Wait, maybe, maybe that was the wrong one. Well, you pick one of them anyway.
think we did it, winner. Common filth. You dare to disturb my slumber? Bala? Bala. Ah, yes, the Ashlander. You remember her, don't you, dear? My performance must have been quite convincing. There's no challenge in terrorizing servants. I wanted to crush someone's dreams. I convinced her I was desperately in love. I said I would leave my wife. It's a shame, though. That I died. Please, tell her you found me. Say that I'm still passionate for her. Godina and I will have a delightful time watching her heart shatter. Alright, so I've actually done this two times. Um, and I can tell you what happens in both of them. But if you tell her the truth, she won't believe you. But if you lie to her, it's kind of like she just gets upset. And I usually try to play the good guy in all this and just tell the truth because that's generally a good life habit. And uh, so we're going to do that. I actually do think I have both of the options on video. So we'll just do that. Did you find him? Where is he? What did he say? I'm shaking. I miss him so much. So when you see uh, options are red, that means your choices actually matter and you pick one and then it'll like change the dialogue, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, this is the truth one. This is a lie. And this one is just like neutral lie. But we're going to choose the truth one. No, I don't believe it. You must have found the wrong tomb. No, I can't believe that. I won't. Why? My own wouldn't know. God, inventory is full. What do I get rid of this, probably? I need to sell stuff. Did you find it? No. So as you... I'm going to show you something real quick. Um... Here, the veteran rank 16 is, or it says 15, that's because that's what I am at. Uh, 16 is the current max. I just couldn't be bothered to play through it during the Imperial City. Um, but I assume when Orsinium comes out, they're going to raise it again, and I'm probably going to go for the cap. Alright, so I do want to go back to town. So these are the way shrines, and they just teleport you to places. I'm trying to, sorry if you guys are like experienced and you just, I'm telling you stupid things, but just in case anyone who is just now getting into it and I'll try to explain what's going on. All right, so we're gonna shrine all the way back over here. I'm actually surprised some of these add-ons still work. I haven't touched this game in a few months. Who are you? Honor to you, traveler. Name's Naril. I'm guessing you're new in town and need some work. It's a bit of luck we met because I need some help in a business deal. You may have heard Stonefalls is under attack. This makes some things very lucrative. Take wine. If I had a particular bottle, there's a party who'd pay well for it. Please, procure. There's a bottle of Tears of Amaya hoarded by a Nord Tavern Keeper here. I offered to buy, but he won't sell. Frankly, he'll never drink it, so he'd never know if it was replaced by a copy. I knew you were game. It's the fish stink down by the docks. A brute named Hector runs it. He's unreasonable about his precious bottle. You can't just smooth talk it away from him. With cleverness, swap that bottle out when he's not looking. He probably can't tell the difference between good wine and swill. I knew you were game. All right, so I know how to do this one. It's pretty easy, but we're primarily in town just to sell stuff. Well, I guess we'll do it. Why not? I can't believe. All right, repair. Should we get rid of? Usually with uh, items, I would recommend just uh, deconstructing it, but this is our character on... Uh, this is our second character, so 
I guess it doesn't really matter because I have a main one that just crafts all the stuff for me. Um, we'll get rid of a lot of this junk. I should really put some of this in my storage. Yeah, I need to upgrade more. A hundred slots is not enough. It's not that much to ask. All right, so there's a couple quests in town that we're gonna go pick up. And the graphics still look pretty good. Greetings. It's so nice. Oh! That hurt a lot. Alright, so we're gonna do this one real quick. It's really easy. Greetings, stranger. Long journey. Have you eaten yet? The large, foul-tempered rats on the docks taste really good. It's a pity the barkeep doesn't care for them. I don't know why. Pardon me. I'm showing the scale sister around town before we take up blades for the pact. He's a crank. He hates drunk singing in his bar. Apparently, he only likes beautiful voices. All right, so what we're going to have to do is catch a rat and then release it into the bar. And then once we release it into the bar, the bartender, he's just like, he's standing right there. And then we got to lure him away. Once he moves. Take that. Damn rats. I hate them. Well, scamp, you don't look any worse for wear. Maybe you should put the ale down every once in a while and pick up a sword. Ha! <laughs> Is that right? Well then, sounds to me like you could be one of the undaunted. A league of like-minded adventurers. Every one of us eager for riches and glory. Sound like anyone you know? You sure? Dungeon delving and monster fighting is not for the weak of heart. Good, but that's the easy part. The hard part is proving yourself. Bungal Grotto seems like a good test. A dark, dank cave you return from. See if you can best whatever's inside. If you survive, come meet me back here, and we'll make it official. Look, I've got clean socks. Uh, this one, it's not a pledge, but it's not exactly easy to do. Alright, so let's go do this one since we're right there. We're pretty much just knocking out multiple quests at a time. Back on your feet already? You needn't offer me gold. I only did what anyone should. I helped someone in need. Unlike some, we sure can, even from near drowned folks like you. I've been back to Bleak Rock a couple of times since plucking you from the sea by the scruff of your neck. Things aren't getting better there. It's nothing. Most folks I pull from the sea are already dead. But you've got decent gear. I bet you've seen battle. I told my boss Rana about you on my last trip, and she wants to meet you. Pay me back by helping her. Come with me to Bleak Rock. Okay, so we'll do that one after that. It's uh, The reason we're not doing it now is because if we talk to her again, we would have to travel to a new area, and I want to turn in a couple of quests real quick. Then we can go there. Do I detect the bouquet of tears of Amaya? Ah, it's good to make new business acquaintances. Remember Naril Helleron, my friend. We may see each other again. Alright, so... Let's go down here and 
This is a horse upgrade. You do this daily. This one was three paces and and if you were to horses. not spend any money, it would take you half a year. If you logged on every single day. Um, you have an option to upgrade three different things. We race fine. Like speed, stamina, and carry capacity. Um, speed is generally what you want to upgrade first. You do this every 20 hours. And it's pretty tedious. Alright, so I don't think there are any... Okay, so the only other quest right here is the one where you go to Bleak Rock. Uh, it's a very snowy place, so if you like the scenery here, uh, the uh, Bleak Rock might be weird. <laughs> If you like snowy areas, kind of like Skyrim's beginning, and you're probably going to like this one. Alright, we're going in. Back on your... Alright, we made it. Um, don't think you talked to- Oh! Almost fell. Alright, so, where are we going? I got confused for a second. I'm gonna go talk to Rana. This is the spot where you should be going in the beginning if you chose Ebonheart first. And it's a pretty unique area. It should take you about maybe, I would say, an hour to complete. It's not too bad. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. You've seen combat, and I need all the help I can get today. Villagers are scattered across the island. We need to warn them. We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well, we'll need to evacuate. You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darj, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. Iman's out at Orkis Hollow with his sister, Rolanda. Sane, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. Darj went to Sky... It's an old dragon shrine. It's a relic of the Dragon Wars. Some of the villagers claim they saw undead out there. I sent Darj out to get proof. Thank you, friend. After you find Darj, keep looking. The more people you can send back here, the better off we'll be. Sweet. 